all stop and rings the bell. That's, that's how you know that we've started back into the game. Here we are. Let's play Silent Hunter 4. Okay, let's, uh, let me see my guys. Oh, I left them at battle stations after I closed the game out. Okay, secure, secure from battle stations. Relieve the watch. Yep, get to hear these guys. Oh, we're doing a, a shift change as well. That's kind of cool. I bet you we hear the guy complaining about his the yardbirds. Yep, yardbirds on his boat. Okay, so what happened the last time is we had we sank this boat, this hog island. This is not... That was not a hog island. Did I get it wrong again? I think I got it wrong again. I... It, come on, man. I was so certain of my identification this time. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm just terrible at identifying these things. Let me see, what was... Uh, yeah, it was that. It had, like, the, the cutout here and the cutout there and the, the crane between the smokestack and the, and, the, and the bridge and the little R2-D2 thing in the, on, the, on the tail. What did it say it was? Old raked bow split? I think I've made this exact same mistake before. Oh, okay. Well, it's got the cutout there and the cutout there and the crane between the stack and the bridge and little R2-D2 on the back. Yeah, I was wrong. Okay, well, hey, I was wrong to the tune of we got uh, 2,000 more tons than I thought we did, so that was a pretty good way to be wrong. On the other hand, it'd be, it was silly. To, maybe that's why it took so, so many cannon shells. Oh, this is 2,000 tons larger than I thought it was. Oh, well. Okay, guys, back to work. Uh, let's head back. We're on our way to our assigned patrol area in the Makassar Straits. Straight? Straits? Did I say? No, I'm, I think it probably isn't plural. I'll tell you what, let's cut around this shallow area, even though it'll add a little bit of time to our path, time to our journey. Don't get stuck in the shallows. And there we go. Let's be on our way. Yes, sir. Let's go say like nine and a half knots. There's about. Yes, There's a boat. Everybody's up top. Everybody's up on deck. That's good. Bright, beautiful day. Use this porpoise. Back to work. Uh, we're in here. These islands coming up in daylight. I think we're going to submerge for the day this time. And we hit Dawn. Yeah, Dawn. Let's go to Periscope Depth. Well, actually, a little bit deeper. Let's go to, like, say, 80 feet. Just because if, if it's right up at Periscope Depth, that's, like, as shallow as you can possibly dive in. It's, it's still possible in airplane flying over. just might be able to spot us, I'm thinking. You know, diving. Just to keep in practice. We'll do some listening. Yeah, I just did that because we've got all these little islands. There could be people there. They could see us cruising by. So, um, yeah, just through this area, we'll, we'll stay submerged during daylight. Yeah, done. All right, let's dive again, just because I'm so close to these islands. Thought I saw a stutter. I'm just a very small one. It wasn't... I'm not really certain about it. That actually looked kind of like... Like maybe there was a contact just to the... Just to starboard of, of hearing our own screws. I believe so, yeah, because usually I hear my own propeller just to like 10 degrees either side. So, but if I listen past 170, I can just barely hear this faintest hint. But okay, let's call it about 165 at the moment, yeah. Okay, okay, so back behind us. I'm actually going to do it this way. We're going to, to do the reciprocal heading instead of going through the whole laborious process of turning around. 
uh, yeah, turning turning around to to point directly at him. We're going to drive directly away from him. We're almost already are, huh? Yeah, pretty close. Actually, I can just keep this heading for now, and that'll give us, and that'll still give us an, an idea of where, what direction he's going. Okay, we'll give it a few minutes, and we'll check that sound contact again. Yeah, still something there on that one side. But moving closer to directly behind us now. Call it 170. Okay, so that first first time we heard him was about what I I, I called it like at 165. But this time I heard him. It's closer to 170. Oops, come on. Things not cooperating with me. And I couldn't really tell if it's closer or further away, but yeah, he's, he's traveling in a westward direction. Okay, okay, we're, this time we're changing course, and let's go this way. Yes, sir. To course, sir. And actually, let's speed up some. Let's go ahead, standards. Let's go ahead and burn some of that battery. Time, what time is it? Yeah, it's just it's early in the afternoon. It's one o'clock. Got plenty of hours of daylight left. Still have these islands here within where they could see us. Some shallows nearby too. Not not a really comfortable position, you know. But I don't know. Slightly more interesting than if it were just a no frills, just a, you know, fat, stupid freighter alone out in the middle of nowhere. I just realized that I put those previous marks down on the map wrong. I was doing the relative bearing instead of the true bearing. Okay, so we'll start with a fresh mark this time. Okay, I'm going to say 150. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can figure out what's happening. Yeah, those marks were made in error. Okay, but this one is a more definite mark. Here he is at 150, and I still do think he's moving He's moving from east to west. I believe that. It could be like northeast. It could be northeast. could be... I mean, I'm sorry, northwest, southwest. I get my directions confused sometimes. <laughs> Give it another 15 minutes, see where he is. About 146 and 136. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so. Hmm. It's very possible that I was wrong, wrong about the direction he's going. He's, he's actually traveling more northerly. Let's let's turn this direction. Yes, sir. To course, sir. Yes, sir. Still uncertain of distances, but I believe he is traveling northerly. Either I was wrong before or he turned. Or, or it's possible both. I could both be wrong and he could turn. Let's go th this direction. Yes, Crew's going to be upset and driving in circles. They'll get over it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> kind of burning a lot of battery here, guys. Moving this faster speed. Definitely much closer. I like stalking him. All right, this is fun. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. All right. Let's take my course further. Let's go this direction. 
at this point, I am going to go up to periscope depth and see if I can see something. At least we got some more waves. That's good. Help mask our sound some. I'm not seeing any smoke. But then the horizon is very close whenever I've just got this thing just poking up just a couple inches above the surface, you know? Alright, put that scope back down. Mm, I still do not want to surface right here. Let's continue. Let's keep on as we've been keeping on. Let's continue steady as she goes. Now the observation periscope has a wider lens, but I think, doesn't the attack periscope actually raise higher? I could be wrong about that. Oh no, this is up higher, it definitely is. Let's take another look at that map. Where exactly do I need to be looking? So it should be right around like 55 degrees, huh? I see smoke. Okay. Wait for the waves to go away. And I see a definite Japanese flag. And it looks like a little boat, doesn't it? Looks like maybe one of these guys. Come on, waves. Let's go. Yeah, it's really, really hard to tell. Okay. Put that tech periscope back down. Yeah, let's continue burning this battery. Let's continue on as, as we've been doing. Still no change in course. Do I want to try and go for this daylight attack or do I want to hang back? I think the smarter move is we're going to kind of shadow him. And in a few hours, it's going to get dark. And then we'll catch up and we'll go for a nighttime attack. That's the plan. Okay. Because if he's making for here, we'll just, I'll just draw a, a very, very rough estimate of where he's driving. I saw him right about here. He's driving here. So... I'll go and I'll try and, and I'll kind of parallel that line. It's just a very rough estimate. Yes, sir. Returning to course, sir. Yes, sir. 